Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, you're here with Mick the Beard and I'm Bloodstock and I'm with Steve from PowerQuest. Afternoon, sir. How are you? All right. You've been here all weekend? No, we turned up uh, yesterday evening. I uh, thought we wanted to catch Rhapsody and uh, we're kind of curious to see what Immortal will, will like as well, although you probably wouldn't associate us with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But no, I wanted to check him out anyway. Uh, we were rehearsing earlier on in the day, so we couldn't get down until about seven in the evening. But yeah, had a good night last night. It was good fun. Great stuff. Yeah. And are you here for the duration now? Yeah, I think so. I've got a, an unfortunate airport mission very early tomorrow morning so <laughs> i'm not looking forward to that at all we'll be in manchester airport by nine o'clock so it's going to be a pain in the ass but yeah we're going to have a good time anyway looking forward to playing and uh, and hanging out with the guys afterwards as well should be good fun and you've been quite busy since i last saw you. i mean i think it was hard rock hell you I last saw you guys um yeah but you've been sort of doing quite a bit of touring since yeah we've, we have had quite an uh, active few months to be honest um yeah it was back in march i think wasn't yeah. it, when, we, when i saw you last and yeah we we were just about to go on the Symphony X tour, I think, at that point. So we did a UK stretch with those guys, which was incredible. Really nice blokes as well. Really nice. After that, we did our own string of UK dates. I think five, I think we did in uh, April time. And then popped over to Europe in June. Uh, a couple of shows in Holland, <laughs> one in Belgium and one in Germany. So, yes. Oh, and I shouldn't forget the Crimson Glory show in London uh, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, which, man, that was one of the best shows I've ever been to. Not from Nothing to do with us, but Crimson Glory were outstanding. That new singer of theirs, Jesus, <laughs> unbelievable, unbelievable. And the thing that surprised me with him was he's an incredible drummer as well. He did the drum sound check. Fantastic player. But, yeah, it's a fantastic night. But, uh, yeah, we have had a, a busy old time of it on the live front, but... Uh, but glad to be here at Bloodstock again. It's been a, quite a while since I've, uh, I've played Bloodstock. I think it's about eight years, I think. Yeah, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dim and distant past. <laughs> <laughs> and has the uh, album been received, the new one? Yeah, it's, it's been great, to be honest. The, uh, the fans, obviously, I was a bit wary of, um, I think, when we spoke at the time. It was just on the verge of coming out, wasn't it, yeah. back in March. Uh, the fans are taking to it really well. You know, I've been really, really chuffed that they've taken the new guys to their hearts as they did the, the, the Italian-based lineup, if you like. It would have been easy for people to say, no, oh, no, that's not the same band, blah, blah, blah. But I'll take my hat off to all of them. They put so much work into, you know, both the, the preparation for the album, the recording of the album, and now the effort they're putting in with the touring side of things as well. It's, you know, it's 110% all the time, and I, I really couldn't ask for more. Press has been great as well, you know, people have really liked the kind of slightly heavier approach we've taken, but without losing the uh, quintessential melo melodic aspects so yes yeah, it's, it's been good all round really you know and uh, i think it vindicated well the decision to actually carry on because i think i said to you before that uh, i wasn't sure whether it was time to to stop or or what but you know these boys have really done done me proud to be honest and yeah we're on the up again yeah you see you did, you did seem to have a lot of problems with lineups for a while didn't you and it's sort of like you said you didn't know where to carry on you know because it's like you say how are people going to take to keep the, keep the constant lineup changes but hopefully this is going to settle well this is the thing you know working with with andy particularly uh, one of our guitar players and, and paul the bass player we we've got a good little writing unit going on now as well which where in the past i was predominantly writing absolutely everything whether it's music lyrics these guys are actually phoning me up you know randomly so i've got this idea i've got to send it over you know and the cool ideas they're power quest ideas you know and i think that all comes down to the fact that all these guys were fans before they joined the band you know and it makes such a difference you know and it's taking the pressure off me when it comes to oh god i've got to write 12 new songs yeah. i think oh maybe i haven't this time <laughs> happy days <laughs> and you, you're getting really good backing as well from the record company which is good napalm yeah they've they've been because you know historically we had problems on that level as well you know prior to signing up with napalm in uh, 2007 i suppose it was now but yeah they've been great you know the promotion they give us is second to none um, and for a band like ourselves who are you know really only semi-professional for them to put that much interest into what we do yeah you know, it, it says a lot and and you kind of have that you scratch my back i'll scratch yours kind of thing you know if, if you know somebody's going to back you then it encourages you to really put the the extra yards in to deliver a good you know by well, the best product you possibly can and hopefully you'll get some uh, 
better tours this time because you have, you have been put on the back of some pretty rough ones at times. Well, you? We've had some interesting ones. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I remember speaking to you in, uh, I think it was in Sheffield yeah, um, yeah. on MSG tour, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, and that, yeah, that was an experience. You know, and, <laughs> and I, I try and look at things in the cold light of day uh, as a positive, even if it was as that was a bit of a pain in the ass at the time. You learn from it, you know, and you realise that you don't want to go out on those kind of things again. It's, in some ways, maybe it does you more harm than good. I think, you know. But I also learned a lot about a couple of the guys who were in the band then, who aren't now. So there are positives to be to be taken from everything. But yeah, we're, we're looking at more touring for. Well, we've got three shows booked for November this year. A couple of. Um, the big tours that are coming in, we're looking at can we get on the uh, on the back of those as well, and already really starting to look ahead to next year as well, seeing what's you know on the horizon then, and of course the uh, inevitable new album. Don't want to leave it three years. You know, I'd really like to be in a situation where we release a new record at, at the end of next year. You know, keep the momentum going. Well, it helps with the like. So when you've got a new lineup, they'd like to have all, this one will be sort of all their input this time. They're not singing their all the stuff that all the people have done. Exactly, and I, th I think even. All the guys did put bits into it, but Andy particularly co-wrote a couple of songs on Blood Alliance. It'll be great for those boys to start from a blank canvas. Yeah. You know, there's no predetermined direction that's going to happen. It's not, oh, Steve's already got this and I've just got to play a solo. It's going to be, right, well, what have you got? Yeah. Come on, tell me, you know, show me show me what you got. And I'm looking forward to that, you know. And as I say, they've already started, really, with uh, whether they're lyrical ideas, you know, concepts, that kind of stuff. It's, it's good, you know. It fires me up as well, you know, keeps me on my toes. Yeah. <laughs> are you looking forward to playing the show then in a bit? Yeah, we are, man. Yeah, it's uh, from what I've seen of the uh, the stage setup over there at the Sophie Lancaster. It looks really good. It is. You know, it's really good. I'm, I'm pretty impressed from what I've been talking to people. People are saying the sound's been pretty good as well. Funnily enough, I know a lot of the crew guys who are milling around, so that's going to help as well because they know the band, so the sound should be, you know, in the right ballpark area for us as well. So yeah, we're. we're the only thing I'm disappointed is we've only got 40 minutes, but yeah, you, you can't have everything, can you? Mate, that's yeah, it, isn't it? You can't have everything. I mean, the good thing I think about that uh, stage is because playing in the daytime, just I think sometimes you lose a bit of an edge. But in there, it's like you're playing at night because it's yeah. all lit up and it's yeah, that's very true. I think it's it's a weird thing to be playing when the sun's shining, yeah. and you're used to being in lights, you're used to having dry eyes coming out in the dark. But yeah, I think that the tent concept, the marquee kind of negates all those problems doesn't it it doesn't matter whether it's 10 in the morning or 4 in the afternoon or whatever it's still going to be like a, an indoor show and I think you know for a band like us as well I think it's important you know I think the the lighting and stuff add to the the energy of the performance you know so so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it the other guys are you know champing at the bit I think and uh, yeah I just want to get out of there you know great stuff and a final message to those guys out there mate well, I'd just like to thank everybody who's uh, sort of stuck with me over the past couple of years. You know, it's uh, it's been a long road, a rocky road at times, but it um, looks like we've got it all sorted now. And uh, better touch wood, really, in case something horrible goes wrong. But yeah, I just thank all, all our fans for, for the long support you've given me and the way you welcome the new guys in and for the reception we've got to, uh, to Blood Alliance. So thank you, mate. You're always supporting us, you know, and... Um, Always happy to talk to you, and I hope you enjoy the show later on. Yeah, and to everybody out there who's not here today, we'll see you on tour sometime in the future. Great stuff. Thanks a lot, Steve. No problem. Man. May God have mercy on your soul.